Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. This video is a continuation of previous set of videos where we are discussing about the constraint and related information. Like in the first video we have seen about what is the data integrity and what is the constraint and what are the types of constraint and then we have seen about not null constraint, unique constraint, primary key constraint, foreign key constraint and check constraint. As a continuation of that, in this video, we are going to learn about ref constraint. But before that, let me quickly show you what are the types of constraint available in Oracle. So here is the list of constraint available in Oracle like not null, unique, primary key, foreign key, check constraint. In fact, all these things I have already covered in the previous videos. In this video, I'm just going to show an example for ref constraint because most of the time ref constraint no one will ask in the interview. However, I just want to cover this specific example because I have already covered all the rest of the constraint. Just as a continuation of that, I just want to cover holistically this ref constraint also. So I don't want to go in detail about ref constraint. However, I just want to show you an example example so that you will just get understand what is a ref constraint. The one more thing is ref constraint is not a foreign key constraint because foreign key constraint generally will call it as a referential integrity constraint. Ref constraint is also a referential integrity constraint. However, there is a slight difference between the foreign key constraint and ref constraint because mainly the foreign key constraint will be creating on the relational table whereas the ref constraint will be creating on the object table. In fact, I'll just show you one example for foreign key and then an example for ref constraint so that you'll be able to understand both much better. Okay, so now let's quickly jump into the demo. First, I will show you an example for foreign key constraint. Then I will show you an example for ref constraint so that it is easy for us to understand the similarities and differences between foreign key constraint and ref constraint. Okay, let us start with the foreign key constraint example. Since I have already created two tables called t underscore employee and t underscore department, first let me drop both these tables. The tables are dropped. Now I am creating the parent table t underscore department with two columns, department number and department name. So now the table is created. Now I am creating the child table t underscore emp with three columns, employee number, e name and department number column. And in department number, I have created the foreign key constraint by referencing the parent table t underscore department on department number column. Let me execute this create table script. T underscore EMP table is also created. The expectation of foreign key is basically to enforce the referential integrity constraint. That is, whenever I am trying to insert a record into the child table, this constraint will make sure that whether it has a parent record already exist. If it has the referred parent data exist, then it will allow the value to get inserted. Otherwise, the insert statement will fail with the integrity constraint error. Now that we have created the employee table, first let me insert a record into the department table for a department number 10. Okay, the data is inserted. Let me query from the t underscore department table. As expected, one record is inserted. Now if I try to insert a value into employee table, that is into the child table, I'm trying to insert a value like Ravi for a department number 10, then this record will get inserted because we already have a record with department number 10 exists in the parent table. As expected, the record is inserted into the child table also. But now if I try to insert another record with a department 20, but actually I haven't inserted the department 20 into the parent table 8. So in this case, what will happen is the constraint will fail and it will not allow our insert to go through with the integrity constraint via error saying the parent key not found. So in this case, the parent key is the 20. So the constraint is not able to find the value 20 in the parent table. That's why it failed. Okay, now that we have seen an example for foreign key constraint. Now let me show you an example for ref constraint because ref constraint is also almost very similar. But the only one difference with respect to foreign key constraint is ref constraint will be creating on the object table, whereas the foreign key constraint will be creating on the relational table. Okay, now I'm going I'm going to go through exactly the same example, almost the same example. But the only difference is instead of creating the relational table, here we are going to create the object table. Okay. Since I have already created two tables like employee underscore table and department underscore table. First, let me drop both these tables. The tables are dropped. Now, first I am creating a department type as an object with two column. So let me execute this type. The department type object is created. Now I am creating a table of this object type. Okay, so let me create this create table statement. Now the department table that is a parent table is created. Now let me create the child table employee table. 
So here is the difference you will see. In the department reference column, I am actually referring to the department type. Okay, so this is the ref constraint. So the ref constraint will be creating using the ref keyword by referencing the corresponding object type table. This is very similar to our foreign key constraint. So here also we are referencing the department tables department number column. Very similar to that. Here also we are referring like department tables that specific type. The only difference is here we will be using the ref keyword and here we will be using the foreign key keyword. So the foreign key constraint is basically for the relational table whereas the ref constraint is basically for the object table. That's one of the main difference. Okay. Now let me create the employee table. So the employee table is also created. Now I'm trying to insert one record into the department table very similar to our previous example. I'm trying to insert a department number 10 here. The data is inserted. So let me just query from this department table as expected. We are able to see the record with department number 10. Now here is the second difference which you will see. When I am trying to insert the record into the table, into the employee table, right? We are not inserting the actual value for department reference column. Instead, we'll be inserting the reference. That's the main difference. So this reference I'm actually picking from the department table. To pick the reference, I'll be using the ref function. So that reference I'm inserting into a variable called department underscore ref variable that I am using in, in the insert statement. Whereas in the foreign key example, if you see, we'll be inserting a actual value into this department number column. Whereas in this ref uh, constraint, we'll be inserting the reference value. So that's one of the main difference. Okay. Let me now execute this block. The data is inserted now. Let me query from this table, right? To get the actual referred value in this case, we'll be using another function called deref. So deref is basically for dereferencing the referred data. Ref function is basically to get the reference of the parent data. Okay. So this is the example. So just to give you a summary, foreign key constraint will be using for relational table, whereas ref constraint will be using for object relational table or you can say object model table or object table. Just now we have seen the example for foreign key constraint and ref constraint. Let me quickly show you the similarities and differences between the foreign key constraint and ref constraint. Both the foreign key constraint and ref constraint are referential integrity constraint. That is both will ensure that the child record has the value based on the reference data from the parent data. The next is both are schema defined object. That is we have to define during during the creation or alter of the table. And the null handling is almost similar for both foreign key constraint and ref constraint. Now we'll see the difference between both foreign key and ref constraint. Foreign key constraint that we define in the child table will refer to the primary key or unique key of the parent table. Whereas in terms of ref constraint will be referencing to an object type table. The next one is uh, foreign key constraint work with most of the standard data types like number where care. However, the ref constraint will work on the ref type object. The next and important difference between the foreign key and ref constraint is foreign key constraint will help us to enforce the integrity constraint on relational table, whereas ref constraint will help us to enforce the integrity constraint on object relational model table. And the last one is foreign key will be defining use the foreign key keyword, whereas the ref constraint will be defining using the references class as part of the table or column definition. So the key takeaway from this video is the foreign key constraint are for traditional relational model table. Ref constraints are for object relational model. In fact, ref constraints are more specialized leveraging Oracle's object oriented future while foreign key constraints are widely acceptable in standard relational databases. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. But before that, you can check whether a similar question has already been answered as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you're not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. If you've learned something new, please like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video.